I was told that there were areas in the city known as food deserts where there was very little and sometimes no access to healthy food. Food deserts exist in lower income neighborhoods. The Apple Pushers chronicles the stories of several immigrant street vendors. These are street vendors that are bringing fruits and vegetables into the inner city where finding a bright red apple is a serious challenge and where obesity rates are skyrocketing. People are not going to go to work all day, go home, and then take two buses and a train to be able to buy some healthy food when right in front of them is a fried chicken, a hamburger joint, and a pizza parlor. So the film really touches the intersection of food deserts and obesity in the inner city and immigration. Cuando yo crucé la frontera fue muy difícil para mí y es fue muy peligroso. I felt myself as a second class because I was Jewish. My mom left me when I was about a year. It was difficult. Coming back from Iraq was definitely a great point of my life. I think that joining the army definitely solved my identity crisis. They gave up so much to come here. They gave up their lives, their families, all in search of a better life, not for themselves, but for their children. And that is so remarkable. And the film is also about entrepreneurship and microenterprise in the streets because these are all immigrants in search of a better life, starting their lives and their businesses on the street. They would set up these green carts and take them where there's very little access to healthy food and where there's a correlation of very high rates of diabetes and obesity. The Lorium Tisch Illumination Fund gave us a very generous grant to be able to help the communities by helping the vendors. This was a very, very risky venture for a philanthropist, right? If you think about the conventional type of philanthropy, um, maybe you'd give money to a museum and there would be an opening of a big exhibit that you helped fund. This kind of philanthropy was very different. After two or three years of funding, the vendors are entrepreneurs and they are self-sufficient. The way I look at access and opportunity is by giving all New Yorkers a chance of the American dream that health care, access to food, access to education shouldn't be just determined by where you were born and the circumstances of your birth.